Good morning. How is everyone today on this beautiful, bright, sunshiny Monday morning? Oh my goodness. Well, hi, I am Darla Morris and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in beautiful Granbury, Texas. I thank you for joining me today, whether you're watching live or going to watch the replay. I do appreciate your time, uh, and I hope that I will inspire you. I will encourage you to use your Stampin' Up! products and give you tips and, tri uh, tips and tricks along the way. Yeah. So when you come on today, please say hello. If it's your first time, please tell me where you're from and how did you find me? I'm very curious to know all of that. Um, so let's see if there is anything that you like what you see today. I do have uh, an online store that you may purchase anything that you like any time that you like. And when I turn the camera down here in just a few minutes, uh, you will see how to find me. Now I'm going to look at my notes. So, okay, yes, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your girl and to help you with all of your stamping and scrapbooking, paper crafting needs. Let's see. Um, let me look at my notes for a, a second. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera down, and yeah, I'm just looking at my notes. I'm going to turn the camera down, and I'm going to show you uh, how to find me, okay? So, oh, I want you all to look. Here's my eye that got all discombobulated. Oh, good morning, Evelyn. Yay, Landa, good morning, I know. Long time no see. This is one of the reasons right here, and you can see I'm still bruised a little bit. So what happened is I had a basal cell carcinoma. Karen, hey girl, Mary Ellen, are you still on vacation? Woman, you need to come home. No, you don't. <laughs> I hope it's much cooler out in California. But anyway, okay, so I had a basal cell carcinoma. One was just right there, so close to my eyelid down there. And then I had one right here in the tippy, tippy corner. So when they removed those, I had to go to a plastic surgeon for him to close it all up because it was such a big hole. Anyway, this is the results, hopefully, I am still healing, uh, it's still numb, it's still swollen, but every day gets a little better, so thank you, Jesus. Uh, good morning, Linda, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Of course, I had not seen anybody in a while because if it hasn't been for me having issues, it's been my husband, so sometimes, you know, life gets in the way of our fun, and I don't like that. Yes, good morning, Susan. Yes, I know, I know. So I'm gonna turn the camera down. Let me find my little button right there. There we go. Now, I'm gonna show you how to find me. Right here is, ooh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can do something like that. Hmm. There we go, that'll help a little bit. You can find me and shop at Lazy Daisy Stampers with an S dot stampin' up no G dot net. Good morning, Stella. Welcome. And please, when you do order, uh, if your order's under 150, please use this host code. It helps me. Uh, and it gets you extra goodies. Um, at the end of the month. Okay, Mary Ellen, you are headed back home. Oh, poo. Be back home in Montana. Oh, good. Cooler in California. Well, thank goodness. We're about to uh, roast here. I'm telling you. 
All right, I'm gonna zoom back out so we can see a little bit. Um, I noticed the other day that when I turn my camera down and start talking in this direction, because my computer is over that way, that the sound kind of goes down. Susan, are y'all in New Mexico? I thought you was back home for some reason. I'm not sure. Anyway, you may have to turn up your volume is what I'm trying to say. So, we are going to spin for two different reasons today. So you see, I have this little thing here and I'm going to, let's see, let's just, so now, how did those people get their name on this wheel? Well, this is the special wheel and it is for everyone that shared my videos in the month of June. Now, um, your name gets on these wheels by commenting with every comment and or sharing my video. And I would ask you to please share my video. It costs you nothing and it helps me greatly. And I thank you for sharing is your name gets put on this special wheel once a month for a drawing and this month you are going to somebody's going to win these beautiful fine sparkle adhesive back gems and i gotta tell you uh, it doesn't show real well um but they do sparkle and they're really really pretty Oops, there's something in that. I don't know what that is. But anyway, so if you shared my video in the month of June, and you do have to tell me that you shared, your name gets put, to, put on this wheel. And I'm going to spin it to see who wins these gems. So <laughs> thank you, Mary Ellen. I appreciate you so very much. Okay, who are we going to have? <gasps> Diane, I think her last name is Christofferson, I think, and I'm almost positive that I have your address, Diane, because she has won before, but if not, I will message her. Congratulations, Diane, and thank you, my dear, for sharing my videos. Susan, thank you for sharing. Okay, so that's going to go to Diane. Now we're going to change wheels and go to our regular... Tired of oh, boring emojis. I'm sorry. It's a free app. I Sometimes have we have to listen to commercials. Okay, so now this wheel is by simply making a comment while you are watching my live or replay video. So with every comment, your name gets put on this wheel and you win two of the projects that I made the previous week. So somebody's going to win these two beautiful little cards. Aren't they lovely? This one kind of has a little special pocket. Now, if you want to see how to make these cards, go back to last week and watch the video. So, yeah, and this one's pretty. I love this layout. And y'all really need to go watch this video because this layout is so uh, flexible. You can use, uh, it's a great way to use up your designer series papers because now I use the same pattern but you know, this could be flipped and it could be a pattern up here, a different pattern or a solid down here. It is just a really cute layout. And I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I have a hard time using up my paper. Um, for one reason, I hoard, hoard them if they're pretty and I'm just aggravated at myself for doing that, but I, I can't help it, so. I might. We're going to spin to see who wins these, okay? Let's go. Good luck. Good luck. Fingers crossed. Who's it going to be? 
Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? <gasps> looky, 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 looky. Jackie! All right, way to go, Jackie. All right, those are our winners for today. Now, if you want to win the cards that we're going to make today, make comments. Most of all, share, 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 share. And also, uh, if you have friends that is uh, that are not on Facebook, well, tomorrow my video will be uh, posted on YouTube, and it's under Lazy Daisy Stampers. So go to YouTube and subscribe ring the bell, make a comment, whatever. I would appreciate that as well. So, now, we all know that we have, gosh, the rest of this week and one more month, the month of, let's see. <laughs> There they are, Susan. Celebration. Now, celebration is with every $50 increment in an order, you get to pick a $50 item out of this little brochure. It's free. I mean, you're going to order anyway. Now you're going to get some free stuff on top of that. And you know with any $50 order from me, you're going to get a gift from me as well. So, today, we are using the hippie, Hippest Hippo stamp set and the dies. And I got them both free. This with a $50 order this with a $50 order or a $100 order and get them both. There are a few items in here that do require a $100 order, but it says so. You can get this beautiful paper for a $50 order. Oh, these are out. They've already sold out. Snooze you lose. This is a $50 order. Anyway, uh, I love this. This is a $100 order. Oh, and we're going to be using this paper as well. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll show, you show it to you in a minute. It's called Silver and Gold 6x6 six six Specialty Paper. Really, really pretty. Um, yeah, this one, uh, it takes a $100 order, but you get the stamp set and all of this paper so cool deal yes so celebration take advantage of it people it's free and who doesn't love free okay i'm gonna move those m m's oh they're so tempting because we are going to make some beautiful little projects this morning um, I think I'll start with this one here. I'm going to put it right in front of me. Uh, this is it. I'm, I'm going to make this a little bit different, but very similar. I'm going to be using the deckled dies. And if y'all don't have these deckled dies, it's a must. That's all I can say. It is a must. I use those all the time. Love them absolutely love the deckled dies and we're going to do a little bit of water coloring did y'all know this is water coloring month well it is so yeah and who doesn't love to watercolor now i cheated a little bit because i'm trying to keep my videos 
down to 30, well, less than 45 minutes for sure. So I've already cut out my deckle dies and I used these two sizes, which would be her, come on out, you can do it, okay. So they would go right here. So it would be one, two, I would use three and four, okay? I hope that makes sense to you. One, two, use three and four, okay? Or use whatever size you want. I always say, it's your card, do what you want to do. But this is what I have done, and I've already pre-cut that. I've already pre-die cut my little pot. Um, oh, this is for the inside of the card. And now this base is pear pizzazz, and it's, of course, half a sheet of an eight and a half by 11. It's cut in half, and then it's scored in half. And this is pear pizzazz, did I say that? And this is, um, what is that, sea foam? Oh dear, I think I've already forgot. Yes, yeah, soft sea foam, and then of course, basic white. Now, I did pre-cut this, and I put um, our double-sided adhesive sheets on the back of this, because it's kind of, well, it's pretty delicate, you know? Let me punch that out, because I don't want it. And, um, okay, so I have my, just a, sh you know, a piece of um, watercolor paper, okay? Um, where is our watercolor paper? I think I was going to show it to you, but I forgot. But I will show you somewhere. Ah got my catalog out and this is in our annual catalog here are our water painters I'm using those today I'm also in our next project I'm going to be using our blending brushes love those now I have to confess I'm not using Stampin' Up blending brushes because before I ever knew anything about Stampin' Up I bought about 12 of these off of Amazon. So, I gotta use those, okay? And I'm a big proponent to tell you, use what you got. But if you're gonna buy, please buy Stampin' Up! And please buy from me. Okay, here's our watercolor. This is the big broad tip. And you're gonna squeeze right there and get the water flowing. Come on down and just kind of wet your watercolor paper. Now you need to use watercolor paper, okay? That's important. And a good quality of paper is your best friend. I don't think my water is coming out. I may have it overfilled, I don't know. But anyway, we're just gonna get it on there, okay? We just don't care. We want some variation in the colors for sure. And that ought to be good enough. Um, and I'm gonna clean off my brush. And I'm gonna dry this with the air, with the, uh, what do you call this thing? Our heat gun. So hold on just one second, let me dry it. It doesn't take long. And the reason you have to dry it is I'm going to sprinkle it with water to get me some uh, variation of color. That'd be good enough for our purposes here. I don't know if I told you, but this is Pear Pizzazz ink as well as matches my cardstock. And then I'm going to take and just 
get me some water droplets on here. So you just kind of flick it. And when you kind of blot it with a Kleenex, Oh, looky there. Isn't that pretty? You want... Hi, Mary Beth. Oh, I'm so glad. Carol, well, welcome. How are you? Good morning, Parashka. I kind of got busy and I didn't look at my, um, my comments. Welcome, Carol, from Connecticut. Carol, how'd you find me? Because I don't think I've seen you here before, but I'm glad you're here. But isn't that pretty? Look at that. If you want more dots, well, just get more on there. And then blot them off. That's why you have to dry it first. Well, I don't think I got any else on there that I can tell. But anyway, that's it. And then I already... <coughs> die cut out this leaf from one that I previously did and I purposely wanted to keep the inside uh, little things good Carol I am the same way so you're gonna die cut your um, <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> those M&Ms with peanuts come back to get me so I use this die, <coughs> and I use this die on the white one. So, let's see. Hold on, I'm going to have to cough. Bear with me just a minute. <coughs> I'm so sorry. But don't you just love watercoloring? I do. Okay, so let's just start assembling our card. How about that? I'm gonna go ahead and put these two together. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Now, I'm a liquid glue girl, okay? Because, um, <clears throat> I need the wiggle room most of the time. <laughs> I know, you know, since I've had COVID, every once in a while I'll just have a coughing spell for no good reason. But <clears throat> I'm very thankful that COVID did not um, treat us badly. All right, so I'm going to kind of see. I want that there. Oops, wrong side. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Because I want to stamp right there. <clears throat> Goodness. And I'm going to use Let's Celebrate. Because I always need birthday cards. You know, our families are just growing like weeds. This past Saturday, oh my gosh, hold y'all's breath, cross your fingers, cross your legs, hope I got this stamped straight. Oh yes, you're right, allergies don't help. And I do have those, and I've decided I'm allergic to pecan. Okay, here we go. I did it. It's straight. Straight enough for me, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna pop my pot up. <laughs> pop the pot up. Okay. <clears throat> I forgot where I was. I don't know what I was saying. 
Okay, and then of course I said a while ago I had put the double-sided adhesive on the back of this. Now the only trick is to get that off, but look how easy that I did that. Wow, that's a first. Whoopee. And then I'm just going to stick that in there like of that. Looky, looky. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I just, this is a little simple card, but gosh, I love it. And then I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals as well. <clears throat> Simply because we can. Now, I will warn you about getting too many layers of <clears throat> dimensionals. The postman will often get a little bit, um, ticketh as my pastor would say ticketh um, when we have too many layers and it could cost you extra postage if you're not real careful see here comes that wiggle room that I need <clears throat> I should have stamped I should have stamped first I don't think I stamped on my other one do I have one that's out? Yeah, that one's out. So I'm just going to zhuzh it up a little bit, as they say. Just because I like it. I like fancy cards. I like pretty cards. And you know what? Just for grins. Let's see what that does. Because I'm going to put that right down there. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. That's called second generation stamping, I think. <clears throat> now, I say this every time, but I, I do want to be... Um, semi-transparent in that you know most of my cards are cased I've seen them somewhere um, I like them and then I remake them I am NOT very creative y'all Stampin' Up! does make it extremely easy um, you know to put together beautiful cards but again, I'm just not that creative, but I'm a great copier. So, here's our first card. What do you think? Got a little sparkle. Hey, I wonder if I've got any gems I could... Oh, I've got a smudge. I need to put something there. Let's see what we can find. Hmm. What can we use? I mean, it's not like I don't have a plethora of embellishments here. <clears throat> Love that word, plethora. You know where I learned that word? Does anybody, could anybody tell me where I learned that word, plethora? Ooh, nope, nothing's going to match. Oh, these little pebbles might work nicely. just want to look at my options. Oh, those are pretty. Oh, oh, I don't know. I might have to think about that. Okay, plethora. Plethora means just a whole lot. Hmm, maybe that might be an option. Eh, let's just not overthink this, okay? <clears throat> okay, plethora. Anybody? Anybody? Okay, so one of my favorite movies of all times, and I probably have watched it, I don't know, six or seven times, is, uh, what is it, Three Amigos. Now, don't laugh and don't judge. I think it is so slapstick, I'm telling you. But I, there, there's more funnies in that movie than you can just imagine. And that 
came from it. There was a plethora of pinatas in that movie. I thought it was hilarious. And I had never heard plethora before in my life. <clears throat> but that's where it came from. Plethora. Well, there you go. We've got a little got a little shine from foil. We got a little sparkle from the bling. There we go. Card number one. I love it. Simple, but it's pretty. Okay, we're moving on. Moving on to card number two. Oh, I could have used some of those. Darn it. <coughs> okay, let's see. Let me get rid of some of this stuff, clear my space, and we will move on to our little hippos. So cute. So, so cute. Hippos. <coughs> oh, sorry. There's that paper that's free. We're using free, free, free. Everything we're using is free today. Well, not everything, but close. All right. And now here's my blending brushes. Um, again, remember, I've had these forever. And, you know, you can't throw away perfectly good stuff. You just can't, people. It's not, it's just not right. Okay, I'm trying to clear up a little space here. So here is this beautiful silver and gold specialty paper. Now I'm using the silver dots, but here there's the gold dots. And then you've got silver stripes and gold stripes. This is wonderful. It's just in time for Christmas. Oh, it's going to make such pretty little cards. I promise it will. Okay, and I'm also using, i got to tell you, I had a class Saturday, an in-person class, and I also have one this coming Saturday. <coughs> Thank you, Linda. Thank you. I'm glad you love it. Okay, good, Parashka, yes. I love this cute little set. I didn't think that I would, but oh gosh, it's just cute. How can you not love a little happy hippo, right? And then here are the dies. Okay, so back to my Saturday class. <clears throat> there is a die that cuts out, looks like it would cut out, uh, like, you know, some of those galvanized tubs well i'll just show you right here this galvanized tub i don't know where that die went it's gone i don't i've looked and looked and looked so i'm using the boat because it'll show i hope at some point but who knows dad burn it so I cut out the boat instead. <clears throat> so what I've done, here is that silver dotted white paper. And I've colored it with our blending brushes. So this is the size I want. And when I colored this, I used five colors, y'all. I used um, Pale Papaya, Flirty Flamingo, um, Polished Pink, and then Melon Mambo. <clears throat> well, when I cut it down to size, I basically cut off my Melon Mambo. So there you go. I didn't think about that in advance. Imagine that. So, I'm going to do this for you to show you just how easy this is. I'm going to get my brush that says yellow. 
and you just kind of go like that. Now, because I want some good, strong color on here, I'm not going to dab off. Now, I normally would. Uh-oh, there's a heart. I'm going to use that heart so you get over there and don't get lost. So what I'm going to do is start, I kind of start off on the edge of my paper and then work my way on it. I think I need to re-ink my uh, pale papaya because it's pretty, pretty pale. And you just keep on till you get the depth of color that you want. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be good with that. Now I'm gonna go to um, <clears throat> flirty flamingo. And you know to clean your brushes, you just you just rub them on paper until they kind of come clean. So here's Flirty Flamingo is next. I think this needs re-inking too. There we go. Got some color then. <clears throat> and I'm kind of moving up a little bit into that pale papaya area. Pretty. I kind of clean my brush. Then I'm going to go to Polish Pink. I don't know about y'all. <clears throat> I love Polish Pink. So pretty. Now, I need a scrap piece of paper. Just a second. There we go. That's just to hold it so I don't get fingerprints on it. Oh dear, can y'all see? Let me move up a little bit. There we go, that's a little better. Am I missing anything? Let's see. Could it, I don't know, but I'll look, Parashka, if it's under my magnetic, I've looked everywhere. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, polished pink. Ooh, so pretty. All right, then I'm going to grab my melon mambo because I think I've got room for just a smidgen of melon mambo. Now, melon is darker than polished pink, so I don't have to worry too much about. Ooh, looky there. Ooh. Ooh. All right. That's going to be good enough, okay? <clears throat> and then I took a tissue and kind of wiped off the surface so that my little, um, my little foil dots would kind of pop out. Now then... Isn't that a pretty little rainbowish color with some sparkle? Ooh, yes. Okay. All right. So here, let's see. Where are my measurements? I have a PDF that's going to accompany uh, the winner next week when you make your comments today. Um, oh, let me see if I can find it right fast. Okay. So you're gonna get a PDF on how to make this card that we've made and then a PDF for this, okay? That's gonna tell you how to make these cards with all the measurements and everything, okay? So that's just a little extra bonus from me that you're gonna get for next, next week. I, I don't always do it, but I had, um, I had made these, used uh, these cards in my stamp class Saturday, and I made extras so that I could make it on today's live video, and that you will have it. Yay! So there's that. Now, I did 
use the squares um, uh, dies to cut these out but today well let me just show you see I use those to cut these out but you know you may not have those so I'm going to show you just use them just use what you got just cut you some squares okay it doesn't matter you don't and look I used the center of this to cut out my little oh I've already lost it oh there it is my little flower so save paper when you can all right that's gonna go on that and I'm not going to use the dies to cut it out I think I'll use that one I think it fits a little better yeah I'm going to all right but first I'm gonna stamp on this so I've got my boat I was wishing it was a bathtub but it's not and I'm going to use basic gray to stamp my little hippopotamus and all right so I'm gonna put my boat there <clears throat> and I'm going to put my little hippo right up here kind of in the center kind of to the top because oh lordy is that not the cutest darn thing okay I want polish pink. let's see is that yeah I want polish pink and I'm going to stamp Let's see, I'm going to put my boat right about there. Now, this is a little different than the card we made Saturday, but it's very, very close. And it's going to, I'm just going to love you. I might get my head in there because I need to get right over this. Hopefully, this is going to be lined up. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on here. I wonder if we can pretend that this is a bathtub, y'all. Because this is where... Now, I I think I saw this from Dina Rico. I'm not sure, but she's just so clever. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if it this did not come from her. But she put like, this is like a little towel. And how cute is that? So let me get my stapler, hold on a sec. So I'm gonna stake, I shouldn't have put that, I shouldn't have put that on there, but let's see what I can do. I'm gonna staple this to the very edge because it's not gonna show. And then I'm gonna put a glue dot to hold it down. Um, where'd my pokey thing go? Here, we got another one. You don't have to, um, you don't have to use the little towel. It's really cute when you uh, have the tub, if you know what I mean. I sure hope that dye turns up. I'm going to be a little bit tipped if it doesn't. Okay, so I've got my blends here. And I've got a uh, light smoky slate and I'm just going to color in her little face just real simple uh, and I don't think that I have to color in her whole body because I think it's going to be covered up but just in case We'll do that. <clears throat> then I used light petal pink for her 
face, in your belly. Um, I use this to give her some lipstick. I hope I'm in, yeah, I am. Lipstick. All right, let's see how our boat's gonna work. That hopefully is gonna look like a bathtub. There we go. Ha ha ha. And now I'm going to glue this down. Right like that. Maybe. Maybe I will and maybe I won't. Probably got glue on my fingers. What a shock. Okay, there we go. All right. <clears throat> now I'm gonna use some glitter. Well, I've got these out. I'll just use these again, but I'm going to use the yellow for the center. Oh, she's really cute. Then I'm going to glue her on this piece. Oh my goodness, she's getting very, very cute. All right, where is my card base, people? Oh, here we go. It's basic white. And I'm going to put this down. I don't know why I put that glue up. And just kind of off to the side a little bit, try to get this, this, and this, semi, semi even. And then I'm gonna pop this up. I can tell you right now, I think I'm gonna like it better using those scalloped square dies. <clears throat> I think it looks just a little bit more, I don't know, feminine, cutesy. And then just wherever you want her, bam. And now let's put our hearts on. Cause she loves us a ton. How am I doing on time, y'all? I hope I'm doing good. I'm, I'm about to be done. I'm not even looking at comments, y'all. I'll come, but I will come back and uh, check out all the comments. If you have questions, ask me. I'll get back with you for sure. Um, I need more glitter. I don't know why these are so stinking hard to get off. There's more, more sparkle. Okay, there's our little hippest hippo. Okay. Yes, I have a magnetic bowl too, Carol, look in here. Look at, oh, I moved everything because it's stuck to my stand. <laughs> I love it, um, yeah. 
It's full of junk right now. All right, there we go, boys and girls. There are our two projects for the day. I hope that it inspired you to take advantage of celebration. Where'd that other card go? What have y'all done with it? <clears throat> hmm. I do this every time. Oh, here it is. Good gosh. Okay, there. Is that cute? So cute. Okay, so I do hope that, uh, like I say, I inspired you to take advantage of celebration. Um, it's only for the end, end of August and it's gone. So if you do have any questions, put them in the comments. I always go back and look at them and try to answer everybody's questions. Please don't forget to share my video Tomorrow, again, it will be up on YouTube. So you can see it on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, if you've got friends that don't aren't on Facebook, be sure and tell them to check out YouTube. Lazy Daisy Stampers on YouTube. I don't know what else to tell you other than I appreciate your time you spent with me today. I truly do. Um, time is our our valuable asset that we never get back. So thank you for spending a little time with me. Thank you, have a great week, and I'll hopefully, good Lord willing, and the crick don't rise, I will see you next Monday, right here on Darla's Cards at 10 a.m. Bye, see you later. Now if I can figure out how to stop this thing.